Nearly everyone has experienced mucus or throat phlegm. This thick liquid produced by the mucous membranes of the respiratory system helps to keep the respiratory system lubricated and free of foreign particles. It's also your body's way of protecting the lungs from damage. But when the body produces more phlegm than usual, it is usually a sign that something is wrong. Today we're going to discuss what causes this excess phlegm, its dangers, and how to thin and reduce it with simple home remedies. What causes mucus in the back of the throat? And what does it mean for your health? Mucus in the back of the throat is often caused by a cold, the flu, or an allergy. When a person has a cold or the flu, their body produces more mucus as a way to fight off the virus. This mucus then accumulates in the back of the throat. Phlegm can also be caused by allergies to environmental factors such as pollen, dust, or pet dander. When a person is exposed to these allergens, their body produces histamine, which can cause irritation and inflammation in the throat, resulting in the production of more mucus. In addition to these common causes, phlegm can also be triggered by a number of other more concerning conditions. These include sinus infections, bronchitis, laryngopharyngeal reflux, and GERD, or gastroesophageal reflux disease. In some cases, underlying medical conditions such as cystic fibrosis, autoimmune diseases, or infections can cause excess phlegm. Let's look at a few of these serious causes. Laryngopharyngeal reflux and gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, are conditions that can cause an excessive amount of stomach acid to travel up the esophagus and into the throat. When this occurs, it can cause the throat to become irritated, leading to an excess of phlegm. The phlegm is a symptom of the irritation caused by the stomach acid. When the stomach acid reaches the throat, it can cause inflammation of the larynx or voice box and throat. The phlegm produced can be quite thick due to the irritation caused by the stomach acid. This phlegm can coat the back of the throat, leading to a sensation of having something stuck in the throat. The phlegm can also travel down the back of the throat and into the lungs, leading to a persistent cough. Low stomach acid, or hypochlorhydria, can lead to a number of issues, including the production of excess mucus. The stomach acid is essential for breaking down proteins, which in turn triggers the release of bile salts. If there is not enough stomach acid, the body is unable to effectively break down proteins, causing the body to produce excess mucus. Further, the lack of bile salts can also be a major contributor to the production of phlegm. Bile salts are produced by the liver and stored by the gallbladder before being released into the small intestine. They help to break down fats and absorb nutrients. When there is a lack of bile salts, the body is unable to do these essential processes, leading to an increase in mucus production. Because mucus in the back of the throat can be a symptom of a more serious condition, if you have been experiencing excessive mucus production for more than two weeks, it is important to speak to your doctor about it. Fortunately, there are actions you can take at home to help thin and reduce phlegm in the meantime. Our recommendations break down to foods to eat, vitamins and minerals to supplement, and foods to avoid. First, let's look at some beneficial foods to eat when you're experiencing excess phlegm. One of the best foods to consume when you have excess phlegm is a broth-based soup. That's right, your mom knew what she was doing when she served you a bowl of chicken noodle soup when you were sick. Hot liquids can help to thin out the mucus, making it easier to expel. If you're not in a soup mood, herbal tea or even plain hot water can help do the trick. Herbal teas can also help to soothe and relax the throat, which can help reduce irritation and inflammation. Garlic is another great food to eat when you have phlegm because it has natural antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. It can help to reduce irritation and inflammation in the throat and lungs which can help to reduce the amount of phlegm present. Garlic also contains allicin, which is a compound that helps to fight off infections. Eating garlic can also help to stimulate the immune system, which can help to reduce the amount of phlegm in your throat. Foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids are also beneficial when you are dealing with high mucus production. These foods include salmon, tuna, mackerel, sardines, walnuts, flax seeds, avocados, and chia seeds. 
Omega-3 fatty acids are essential for reducing inflammation in the body and they can be beneficial when dealing with phlegm. Omega-3 fatty acids can help to reduce inflammation in the throat and lungs, which can help to reduce the amount of phlegm present. Additionally, omega-3 fatty acids can help to boost the immune system, which can ultimately help to reduce the amount of phlegm in your throat. Beyond these foods, supplementing certain vitamins and minerals is a good way to help battle phlegm. Here are the three best vitamins and minerals to get rid of phlegm. First, N-acetylcysteine, or NAC. N-acetylcysteine is a form of the amino acid cysteine, which is naturally found in the body. It is used to treat a variety of medical conditions, including respiratory illnesses such as bronchitis, asthma, and cystic fibrosis. It is also used to reduce levels of the amino acid homocysteine, which is linked to an increased risk of heart disease. NAC helps to reduce phlegm by breaking down mucus in the lungs and chest. It works by increasing the concentration of glutathione, a powerful antioxidant in the body. Glutathione is responsible for helping the body fight off infections and reducing inflammation. NAC also helps to keep airways clear by reducing the production of mucus, which can block the airways. Next up, glutathione. Glutathione is a naturally occurring molecule found in the human body. It is made up of three amino acids, cysteine, glycine, and glutamine. It is an important antioxidant and plays a crucial role in protecting the body from oxidative damage. It helps to detoxify harmful compounds, including heavy metals and other toxins, and helps to maintain healthy cellular structure. Besides all of those benefits, Glutathione also helps to reduce phlegm in several ways. First, it helps to reduce inflammation in the airways. This reduces the amount of mucus produced, so less phlegm is produced. Second, glutathione helps to reduce the viscosity of the phlegm, making it easier to clear from the lungs. Finally, glutathione helps to reduce the production of histamine, which can cause an increase in phlegm production. Overall, glutathione can be an important tool in managing phlegm. Third, we have omega-3 fatty acids. Earlier, we talked about getting this phlegm-fighting nutrient from food, but that's not the only way. Omega-3 fatty acid supplements are an easy way to ensure that you are getting the necessary amounts of these essential fatty acids in your diet. Even beyond helping you reduce annoying throat mucus, research has shown that omega-3 fatty acid supplements can be beneficial for people with a variety of health concerns, including high cholesterol, high blood pressure, inflammatory conditions, anxiety, and depression. Lastly, let's take a look at some foods to avoid when you're dealing with throat phlegm. First, wheat. Wheat can be a major contributor to phlegm production. This is because it contains gluten, which can trigger an inflammatory response and can cause the body to produce extra mucus as a defense mechanism. Wheat can also exasperate allergies and asthma, both of which can lead to increased phlegm production. If you have any gluten sensitivities, it's best to avoid wheat when you want to reduce mucus. Second is histamine-rich foods. Histamine-rich foods include dairy, alcohol, especially red wine, cured meats, and fermented foods. Histamine is released in the body as part of an allergic or inflammatory reaction and can cause symptoms such as sneezing, runny nose, and itching. Therefore, it's easy to see why when someone has phlegm, it's important to avoid these foods. When histamines cause an increase in the production of mucus, this can lead to further irritation and congestion. Keep histamine-rich foods off your plate when you're aiming to reduce phlegm. If phlegm and that persistent feeling that something is caught in your throat have been plaguing you, there is hope. Simple changes to your diet and health regimen can help thin and reduce mucus and let you breathe easier again.